Hi everyone, I'm Peter Young. Here is your two-minute book review of The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. It is a memoir that came out in 2005 and I loved it. Walls had a bizarre upbringing that at times reminded me of Tara Westover in her memoir, Educated. It's written by a young girl. She loves her father. You would presume the father loves uh, his daughter. But the father is doing all kinds of crazy and stupid things to constantly put his daughter in danger. So as a father of young girls, I found myself constantly shaking my head over and over at the antics of Wall's father. How could this guy keep doing this, keep putting his daughter and the rest of his family in danger? But I have to remind myself that I'm not perfect and there but for the grace of God go I. So The Glass Castle does not have as much introspection and self-analysis as educated. It's a very straightforward account by Walls, and thus I feel like she has less of an arc in her book than what Westover has in hers. But uh, The Glass Castle keeps your attention. It's sort of like the rubbernecking effect at a traffic accident. You're riveted to the scene, and there are a lot of riveting scenes in this book. And I like a memoir that has you pulling for the writer, and this does that. The account is so heartbreaking and sad and tragic that you soak it in and you're cheering for Walls, hoping that she can survive all of this craziness. And you're hoping that at one point her parents will make one smart decision. They never do. <laughs> so The Glass Castle, it's not my favorite memoir, but it's right up there. It's very good. Walls is an excellent writer, and I do believe this story is worth your time. So there you go, two-minute book review of The Glass Castle. I hope you've liked this review. If you have, give it a like and a share. I do appreciate your comments. Would love it also if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, until next time, keep reading.